Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about how the FDIC is doing a coordinated attack on crypto right now. We have word and a video from Brian Brooks who is talking a little bit more about it. We're going to take a look at that video and then we have a Republican Senator Tom Emmer who actually wrote a letter to the FDIC accusing them of directly using the FDIC to weaponize them i mean weaponizing the fdic to attack crypto so if you're excited about this very interesting video like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed make sure you watch the video all the way to the end and let's just get right into it Decentralized. so we have this article right here from corn corn desk <laughs> from Coindesk that says, Brian Brooks, US is using crisis to choke off crypto banks and assets. So let's just watch this video, see a little bit what he's talking about. I think anything will uh, further happen with uh, the bank situation, with the crypto friendly bank situation in the United States. Do you think everyone eventually will just leave the US or what, what of the situation of on and off ramps in the United States for banks and crypto institutions? Yeah, I mean, look, my, my guess is that there's when you have demand that is as strong as it is, there will always be smaller banks that are willing to step up and try to risk manage this. So, you know, you get rid of Signature Bank and you have Customers Bank and you get rid of Customers Bank and then you have Coastal Com. I mean, there's always somebody who's going to serve this because there's a demand and crypto is not unlawful. Um, the question then becomes, you know, how quickly and how how committedly is the is the administration going to go after every single last one of those, and how will they answer to the 50 million customers who are looking for fiat on and off ramps? Um, my belief is that they're trying to send a signal that will eventually choke this off. That's again what Operation Choke Point was, but you can't, you know, you can't kill all of the uh, all of the animals in the zoo at some point. So my belief is there will always be somebody serving it. It'd be better if larger banks with better risk management were serving the sector but if they don't there will be somebody doing that and uh, hopefully over time as the asset class matures you know people will get comfortable with that so very interesting what he said right there he said basically they're trying to choke this off he said it's pretty clear that there has been a decision across the banking regulatory agencies in this administration that crypto is an inherently risk and needs to be extracted from the banking system but like he said in that video there's always going to be smaller banks who are serving the sector because it is not not illegal to do cryptocurrency it's not illegal to provide services for cryptocurrency but they're attacking it where they can attack it at the fiat on ramps and off ramps they're trying to stop you from converting your money into crypto that's just what they want to do um, and that's what they see is you know the problem right here it says when he ran the OCC he said I had an official call with the FDIC chairman and with the vice chairman of the Federal Reserve so it's like we talked weekly for an hour and talked about what our priorities were for the upcoming week and how we can support each other other how we could support each other how our actions would affect the banking system so it's like he knows that all these um, agencies are in cahoots with each other they have weekly talks he used to work there an interesting thing about brian brooks was like he was like working with the office of the or he was working actually um for binance and then he was and then he left them he was working no he was working with the office of the controller then he went over to binance and he left binance and now he's working over at bitfury so he has a pretty interesting history he knows what he's talking about when it comes to those different sectors now we have this guy right here if you're in crypto, you might have seen this congressman before. He's the one who's on Capitol Hill, who's always like correcting their wrongs about crypto. When they say crypto is used for this and crypto is used for that, he always corrects them and says, no, this is what it's all about. Do you guys even know what NFTs are used for? Have you even checked out NFT art? Have you been on NFT Twitter? This guy knows what he's talking about. But basically right here, he sent out an interesting tweet where he said, today I sent a letter to the FDIC chairman Gutenberg regarding reports that the FDIC is weaponizing recent instability instability. Ability. <laughs> in the banking sector to purge legal crypto activities from the u.s so basically you know the u.s is bitcoin is our number one competitor right now trying to get rid of it so let me know what you guys think about 
this situation. These are some pretty interesting accusations coming from some people pretty close to these agencies. And we'll see how this is going to play out within the U.S. We see what the people are going to do. We can see that this administration definitely doesn't like crypto. We thought the last administration didn't really like crypto, but this administration is attacking, attacking it where they can and they have the people on their side to do it. They seem to have the banking sector on their side or they have the banking sector's side. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box. Think positive and positive things will happen. RIP to crypto roots. Remember, never finish a negative statement about currency. Till next time, peace.